key building block in formula writing is the ability to use absolute and relative cell references. Though the term absolute cell reference sounds too complex and goes over the head, but it's an extremely important concept for formula construction and usage and you must know it. Absolute cell reference in Excel is used when you don't want the cell reference to change with the formula or function being copied and pasted to other cells. I'll demonstrate this to you with the help of an example. So let's say we have a company uh, with four departments A, B, C and D and we're trying to compare the revenue in February versus the revenue in January for each of the departments. Right? So, we will just put in a formula to compare the revenue growth. The revenue in February divided by the revenue in January minus 1. Just uh, apply the percentage format. And now we can drag the formula to the other departments, that is the other cells. So here we are. Now we have the growth for each of the departments. Now just notice that the growth for department A references to cells C3 and B3, right? For department B, it references to cell C4 and B4. Similarly, for department C, it references to cell C5 and B5. Department D, right, for C6 and B6, and for the total revenue, it references to cell C7 and B7 you would have noticed that you know the cell references uh, changed automatically as we dragged the formulas as we copied the formulas to the other cells right so this is the default behavior in a spreadsheet that is uh, cell references are relative which change when copied and pasted now we'll see what an absolute cell reference is and why is it important, right? Uh, you know, we we will see what is the contribution of uh, each of the departments to the total revenue of the company. So for that, uh, we'll just uh, put in a formula, which is uh, contribution of uh, department A divided by the total revenue right and apply the percentage format so here we are department a contributes 20 percent to the total revenue and going by our previous example of relative cell references where we saw that you know by dragging or by copying the formulas to other departments that is other cells you know we can get the contribution of other departments as well so we try doing that over here in this example oops what we get is uh, formula errors right and why did this happen let us check uh, you must notice that the references, the cell references are B4 and B8. In the next case, it's uh, B5 and B9, B6 and B10. That is, uh, you know, the the denominator is getting is going lower, is getting pushed down as we drag the formulas. Why is it happening? 
because you know we need to lock the total revenue this cell reference has to be has to be locked has to be constant it should not change as we move down as we copy the formula so here we need to just uh, uh, you know just put in dollar signs in the reference uh, to b7 to sell b7 and dollar signs will help locking the cell reference using f4 right so let's let's uh, drag it now so here we are now we see that the denominator has been locked and now we are getting the correct values as the results so so an absolute cell reference identifies the location of a cell or a group of cells an absolute cell reference is used when you don't want the cell reference to change with the formula of function being copied and pasted to other cells right and you know the way the shortcut to prefix uh, dollar signs is to click on a cell reference and then press the f4 key on the keyboard so now we can uh, copy the january example to get the results for february as well apparently uh, this looks perfect but if we just check you know the february revenue of uh, department a is getting divided by the total revenue of january which is a wrong behavior it should have actually you know uh, it should have actually compared the february contribution with the total revenue of february and not january this happened because in the previous case we had locked the cell reference the total revenue over here locked the cell reference b7 and made it absolute and when being copied the cell reference stays constant it doesn't change as in the case of a relative cell reference so ideally what we should have done is instead of locking the entire cell we should have only locked the row and not the column that is we remove the dollar sign the dollar prefix from the column and let it be as it is for the row now we drag it over here the results are the same and when we copy it to february we get the correct results for february so hope uh, hope you got the message and you like the lesson thanks for watching